I'm Devon Franklin, and this is Washington Adventist University. When I got the, the inquiry for me to come, it was a story about you know how the book has been so well received and how students have been studying the book. And even with my schedule being as crazy as it is, when I got that request to come here, I immediately said yes, because I believe that God has put me here and given me all these experiences so I can help people, especially young people uh, who are at the very beginning of their educational journey and their career journey. And I was compelled to be here because this is exactly who I wrote the book for. Uh, in the book, Produced by Faith, I, I asked the reader to look at their life as a movie. And every great movie is based upon a great script. But every great script has to be developed first. So when you look at college life, so much of that is a development process. You know, you're working on your ideas of what do you want to do. Some students come and they major in one thing and they said, oh, I don't like that, I want to try something else. So it's really that developmental stage of any script that, uh, that college life kind of represents. So when I talk about in the book, the company still need people who are integral, who are humble, who are focused, who keep their word. Any company who wants to be successful will base their company on people who have those things. So even though it may seem like those are not the things that will allow you to ascend the corporate ladder, I argue that if you have those things, those are the attributes that will make you attractive to even be thought of to run a corporation. While that may be a path that may take a longer time and you may see people who are go getting up the ladder faster, uh, faster is not always better. And I would argue that it's always better to have integrity and principles and to know what you stand for and to stand for what you stand for. And those things, when you are convicted and you have a, have a, have a passion and a purpose, companies want people like that. Companies want people who are convicted on something because if they will fight for what they believe in, how much more will they fight for the company and what the company is trying to do? When you look at the Bible, the Bible is full of stories of men and women that God used. And the majority of those men and women were in the marketplace. They weren't in the church. David, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, they were in Babylon. They were managers, they were governors, they were leaders in the most secular environment on earth. And they had God's favor and his approval. So if we go back to the Bible, we look at that as a model for how to navigate our life and career. He is always using people in peculiar places for his divine purpose and timing. So I argue to anyone that thinks that they have to regulate ministry to you know, a, a traditional church setting, that they might be missing the opportunity to really minister wherever they are with whatever gift God has given them. So my goal is to try to and propel and to push and to motivate for anyone who's listening to listen to what God is saying. God may say, hey, I want you planted in this church and I want you to be in ministry in that way. I want you to go on missionary work. He may say that. He also may say, I want you to go run Apple and that's how I want you to minister. But are you gonna listen?